I think the most important thing is just to focus on becoming a better squash player. I, I, don't, I don't want to put too much pressure on numbers, just getting up in the rankings. Just, I think just by playing good squash, becoming a better squash player will eventually lead me to my targets. But at the moment, I just want to focus and enjoy my squash a little bit more and not put too much pressure on myself. Especially looking, looking back, winning World Juniors, I feel like just looking back at some of the past winners and what they've achieved what they've gone on to do on the PSA Worlds were it, it was it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't that smooth sailing for me like um, I, had, I had to take some time to realize that everyone's got a different different curve to achieving their targets and some of the guys really shot up to top 10 straight away and I, I struggle with um, coping uh, understanding that I'm not gonna be the same as them it was quite frustrating as well. I wasn't really getting there as quick as they were. And then, but my coach, Pizza, just told me that everyone takes different time and takes, everyone's got a different, different line to the target. And ever since I really accepted the fact that I, I, I won't be able to do what they have done at that age, and I started being a little bit more relaxed and just more more focus on myself actually, not, not focus on what the other past winners done. Just focus on what I can do. I had to chip away, like you said, from the five Ks, ten Ks, slowly get up rankings, get a few good wins here and there. Keep keep trusting the process that um, just keep working hard and it'll pay off towards the end. And it's it's been that way now and the last few tournaments I've been able to chip away, get a few good wins and pushing up the rankings hopefully in a few few months of Hopefully in the near future I can break in, break in top 30, keep going up and up. Um, I feel like it's been, it's been going really, really well. Um, started off a little bit slow in China. Obviously that was after Asian Games, it's a big, big event and I was a little bit, a little bit tired after that, but didn't start off like I wanted to. But in the same as well in the US Open, um, I wasn't playing like how I wanted to. Things started to come come together in Qatar when I started playing pretty well, and from there on, it's just been pretty good, pretty good squash. Commonwealth Games was was an eye opener for me. Like um, I haven't been to any major games, so that was the first one. I was first on individuals. I played Rex Hendrick from Australia, and that was a big crowd, massive crowd. Um, I couldn't couldn't cope with the pressure, and uh, Rex lost in close five to Rex, and. After that, I kind of knew what was going to come, like the pressure of playing in the major games. And I just told myself to relax and just enjoy the moment a little bit more and not get too focused on winning. And that, that really helped a lot. And Asian Games, that proved, proved that um, my experience in Commonwealth Games helped. And uh, to win the Asian Games was really massive for us. I feel like um, by doing well in Asian Games, yeah, Definitely helped me believe that I can I can go on and do better things and believe that I can really cope with these top guys and start pushing them this season onwards and I don't have to wait any longer I, I, I can do it now so I just got to keep pushing keep believing in myself and I've worked with my coach Peter Jennifer a lot on my game and it was just about piecing them together in the in the proper game in the match scenario I wasn't quite able to piece together all the all the good parts of my game before this. But now I'm, I'm, I think I'm learning and I can identify what's my strength and how I can make use of those strengths and start winning matches. And I think that's the main difference now. I'm, I'm piecing them together better than I was before this. Before this, I, I have patches where I play well, certain area of the court where I'm really good at, but not quite on some areas. But now I'm, I feel like I'm playing better squash overall. So can close out some of the matches as well, can start getting a few more wins. Got, got big ambitions and I'm ready, ready to push really hard, ready to go to do whatever it takes to get there. I feel like I'm getting somewhere definitely and um, it shows as well making, making the third round twice in a row now. Even though the draw was probably a little bit easier than the others but I st still had to go through, still had to win the matches. It's not easy, everyone's really tough. So it's still, it's, I feel like I'm, I'm going somewhere currently with my squash and I feel, feel good and if I keep pushing on, keep chipping on and maybe, maybe a big wins around the corner.